Hey guys, Zach here from MixChecks.com. Welcome back to this free gospel mixing course. Today we're going to be focusing on just pitch correcting the vocal. So I'm going to show you how I use Melodyne to keep the vocal nice and natural, but also in tune. So let's jump into this mix. correct this lead vocal. I already put Melodyne on here and then I let it run through the transfer process. So I don't use the Melodyne ARA in Logic just because it's been really buggy and I just don't trust it. Plus I'm fine turning the transfer on, letting it play through the song because it gives me another opportunity to listen to my mix. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. I have to let it go through. So I don't think it hurts, and I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not in a huge rush. I mean, I can wait five minutes for the song to finish and not worry about any bugs happening. So we're going to start with this lead vocal, and I'm going to show you my Melodyne process for pitching, pitch correcting a vocal. Sometimes people think Melodyne is this scary program, has lots of tools and all this stuff, and I pretty much stick to um, three, maybe four aspects of Melodyne. So there's this um, bubble tool, which whenever you pick this, you just go pick the note, double click on it, and it'll snap it to the right pitch. That's the most common one I use. And then second most common is the pitch modulation tool, which it takes the vibrato and it shrinks it down. So if I need a, a note to be more consistent, I'll use the pitch modulation tool. Second most common is the pitch uh, drift tool. And so that's if the pitch starts going up, it'll bring it back down into the note range. And then the third thing is this note separation tool. So sometimes if you have a, a single word that, you know, the pitches are off, um, you, sometimes it helps to split it and then pitch correct it that way, doing the double clicks. Uh, we might see some of that in this vocal. I'm not sure yet. I don't, I don't know where the pitches are yet. We're just going to go through this together. And then those are the four main things I use in Melodyne. I don't use any of this other stuff. Note assignment mode, no idea what that is. Scroll tool, zoom tool, don't use those. I just do it over here on the bars. Formant tool, have no idea what that does. Amplitude tool, I don't do that. I use automation and logic. Time tool, again, I don't use that. I use if I need timing, I'll use flex time and logic. So let me show you how I get set up. First off, it Melodyne always makes it really small like this. So I'm going to come down here until it turns into a magnifying glass and widen it up a little bit on the horizontal. Widen it up on the vertical so it's easier to see. And then I don't know if they've improved this in Melodyne 5 yet. I'm still on 4. just haven't upgraded yet. But the sometimes the playhead doesn't always lock and that kind of stuff. So what I'll try to do is actually make this window smaller. And then I want my vocal to be up here at the top next to my bars. I'm gonna turn the waveforms all the way up. And then I use this to navigate through and then it, it copies it in Melodyne, but I've noticed that if you do it in Melodyne, it's not always as accurate, which is why I do that. So now I can control where I am on the vocal waveform right here. And then I can do the pitches while I'm in Melodyne. So let's just go through and do this thing.
So that was a pitch drift right there. thought I just screwed it up right there. I hit command Z and it undid this plugin, but you have to do, you have to do undo from here and not do not hit command Z because then it'll do it in logic. Good lesson. All right. I don't know, something about this note just sounds off. So let me try to, this is when I'm going to separate it. So I can get this part, bring that down. Surrender his life for me. He paid it. So this is another one. <clears throat> There's only one blob, but the note goes way up high. So you got to chop this part out. And that's with your note separation tool. And then put everything where it's supposed to be. Looks like we could use a little bit of hey. modulation. He paid a debt. So high was the cost. See if the pitch drift can help this one. Just line it up right there in the middle. Such a
some modulation. That one's on the on a on the borderline. I, you know, because you got to use your ears. Just listen for the pitch. If it sounds out of tune, then fix it. If it doesn't, then you don't have to. You're not going for total perfection. At least that's not how I handle Melodyne. This one's close, but she's kind of you know leaning into that note. So I think I'm gonna let it slide this time.
Okay, saving that. Got our tuned vocal now. And that is how we, or I use Melodyne. Just remember, bubble tool, pitch modulation, pitch drift, and note separator. That's it. It's not scary. It's pretty easy. And I like to go easy on it. I don't like to do it hardcore. You know, especially with a gospel track like this, it, it kind of maintains that live feel not to hardcore pitch it. Just use your ears, see what's out of pitch, and fix those notes. See you in the next video.